so was a smiling shining baby star in the milky way galaxy he did not know how he came about but he did remember that when he opened his eyes he was greeted by many smiling shining twinkling faces and one of the smiling shining twinkling faces belonged to pi pi was so's companion and guiding light and he had been so for all these years pi knew everything about everything it was pi who told so that the sun wasn't the biggest star of the galaxy there were stars bigger than the sun too like sirius of the dog star constellation was much much bigger than the sun and yet sirius wasn't the biggest there were other stars in other galaxies that were much much bigger it was pi who had told so how he was born you see so we stars at our center have a heart and this produces energy and when we have produced lots and lots and lots of energy our light comes on but this can take lots of time a long long time sometimes even millions and millions and millions of years so you see kid i have waited a long long time for you so thought about all that pi told him and then so had a question but pi does this light ever go off um that's that's another lesson for another time kid well you know what i have seen many 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 stars come to life how old are you pi asked so thoughtfully well um let me see i am millions and millions and million years old <gasps> that means you must have seen lots and lots of stars come to life well let me tell you a secret i have even seen the sun come to life but shh that is our secret so loved pi and pi loved so one morning as so was taking a nap he was suddenly woken up by a loud explosion bam so woke up to halos of light washing him and utter chaos his first thought was to look for pi but pi was nowhere to be seen pi 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 so called out meekly suddenly he saw sai the slimy sly star that lived beside pi looking for pi are you pi doesn't exist anymore what do you mean pi doesn't exist anymore pi didn't you hear me pi doesn't exist anymore are you going to cry now like a cry baby so was confused how can that be no pi where is pi so went around looking for pi and then he saw the other stars they just wouldn't look him in the eye everyone was looking down and looking away from him nobody had any answers so was sad he missed pi and then one day so decided to go off to sleep He thought that perhaps one day when he would wake up he would see pi right in front of him one day this would end like a bad dream and then so went off to sleep all the other stars in the galaxy were very very worried about so stars are supposed to be happy stars are not supposed to be sad you know stars with their lights are supposed to spread happiness look at so he's so sad he's going to spread sorrow with his rays we have to make him happy all the stars discussed well we have to do something so then they came up with a plan we have to make so laugh and so they started sending funny messages to so but so did not look at anybody 
He just kept turning away, shutting his eyes really tightly. He didn't want to hear anything from anyone. But all the stars kept on going and soon planets and their moons and asteroids and comets and space rocks, everyone joined in the movement. The movement was to make So laugh. But everybody was shunned away by So. So became grumpy, sad and very, very, very bad tempered. So was always frowning with his eyes tightly shut. So didn't want to hear or listen to anyone. Everyone was very, very worried. And so they all decided to wake up W. W was a very, very old star, just like Pi. But W was very much alive, only in deep slumber. Wake up, W! Wake up! Wake up! <sighs> what is it? Oh, how many years have I been in slumber for? W rubbed his eyes and opened up and said, what? Pi is no more. Ah, I wish I could meet my friend once again. Hmm, so what is it? What's the trouble, my friends? W asked wisely. And all the stars and the comets and the planets and the moons and the asteroids and the space rocks, they all told W about everything that So was going through. You fools, it's not jokes that he needs. The star needs hope. We have to do something. This is serious. And so W started thinking of something. I am way too far to tell him something myself. I have to send him a message. So W trusted a comet to deliver his message to So. And the comet went zipping and zooming and reached So. So was his usual grumpy self. He refused to look at the comet. Hi, So. I'm a comet. I've come to deliver a message to you. But So just looked away. Oh, he's not going to listen to you. Well, he doesn't listen to anyone ever since Pi died, said Sai, the sly star. Well, I've not come here to talk to you, said the comet. So, you have to listen to this, to this, to this message. W is as old as Pi was. Pi was. The words rang into So's ears really hard and So quickly plugged his ears. He didn't want to listen to anything. But the comet raised his voice and began reading out W's message. Hi So, my name is W. I am an old star. Pi was very dear to me. It's just that we were separated by a long distance. Pi is no more. But that is no reason for you to be sad. You don't have to be unhappy. For you know, when a star dies, it leaves a part of itself behind, like a seed of which new life will grow. It may take many, many years, perhaps even millions and millions and millions of years for you to be able to meet Pi again. But rest assured, my friend, you will meet Pi one day. Meanwhile, don't forget to smile. So looked up and smiled at the comet. And this is how, friends, an unhappy star was made happy again. <laughs>